We are in Arabian Travel Market in Dubai with Mr. Klaus Asman, Vice President Hospitality and Retail of Dubai Parks and Resorts. Mr. Asman, please give us some details and information about the concept of Riverland Dubai and Lapita Hotel that will open in October 2016. Sure, with pleasure. Uh, the Lapita Hotel actually is our theme Polynesian experience within Dubai Parks and Resorts. So it sits inside the uh, theme park destination, very conveniently located. You can walk to all the theme parks and to the next door neighbor, which is Riverland, our dining destination. Um, Lapita is 504 themed resorts, as I mentioned. Uh, it has 60 suites, three independent villas, uh, some beautiful F&B uh, outlets. Um, and again, what makes it very, very special is it's within the destination and next to Riverland. Which are the markets that you are targeting as well as the profile of your visitors? Sure. I mean, basically what we are market is, is nothing new. We are, we are looking for the same visitor mix like a lot of people uh, looking for here in Dubai and within the UAE. Uh, we're looking for the GCC market, we're looking for the upcoming markets, China, India, stopover program from Australia helps of course Russia, and then you have the traditional markets like the UK, Germany, France. So uh, nothing new, but of course we're giving a new product to the market and therefore we will have a complete different capture than uh, if for instance you just have an independent resort hotel property. What is the contribution of this project in the Dubai tourism? The, this project, Dubai Parks and Resort, is, is very important to the Dubai tourism sector. Um, again, our aim is clearly um, to align with His Highness visit Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, uh, whereby 2020 we would like to have 20 million visitors to Dubai and, and feel, feel positive that our park, our destination, is a big contributor of that.